Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, noble readers of the Essex Public Library in Tappahannock, Virginia. It is an honor and a privilege to be amongst you today. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jonathan Austin. They call me Jonathan the Juggler, or as my mother calls me, Jonathan. In any case, I was going to be doing a live show for you at the library itself. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm going to bring you the show through a video. Let's get ready. Today, I shall do some magic tricks, some juggling tricks, fun for the entire family. I hope it inspires you in ways you never thought. Perhaps you'll go to the Essex Public Library and get a wonderful book on how to do magic tricks, on how to juggle. Wouldn't that be fantastic? What a great way to spend the summer. But even if you don't get a book on magic or juggling, check out another wonderful book that they have there. So many great books at the Essex Public Library. I hope you take full advantage of this service. Let's get back to the show. Like I said, my name is Jonathan Austin. At your service, at your becking call, I shall cater to your every whim. Let's get started. Today, even though the show is viral it's going to be done without camera tricks or anything of that nature allow me to wave the red scarf for my friends in tapahannock i place into my hand now typically when you see a magician they say magic words like abracadabra have a banana hocus pocus chicken bones choke us I don't say magic words like that. I say my favorite magic words. Read, read, read. If you get it once, you can say it all over again and again. When I count to three, everybody, say read, read, read. One, two, three. Read, read, read. Let's see if it vanished. Bam. Oh my goodness. It vanishes into the thick of the night. Not in the hands, not up the sleeves, a mystery of epic proportion. Let's say the magic words again. One, two, three, read, read, read. And would you believe, to everybody's shock and amazement, the red scarf makes a triumphant return. Shall we try again? Yes, say I. Let's go for it. Wipe the sweat from my brow. Allow me to freshen up this summer. <laughs> when I count the three, you know what to say. You know what to do. One, places. Two, prepare for the books. Three, read, read, read. Look at that. History has repeated itself. Watch my hands. Watch my sleeves. Watch those really neat library books. Check it out, Essex. Oh my goodness. I thought I'd seen it all. Magic right there. Let's get rid of the red scarf. Next, I'd like to show you a book. Uh-oh. Or shall I say, a magic trick I learned from a book. I do have a coloring book, but let's wait on that. I think you may want to see this one first. We have a $1 bill, George Washington, who never told a lie. <laughs> How'd he get elected? Mm. Watch closely. $1, no trick dollars. Watch as the $1 bill now creates magic. You see, you can fold it in half seven times. Let's do so. Everybody count? One, are you there? Two, uh-huh, three, if you don't know the words, just hum. Four, five, six, 
Oh, my. Check this out. For everybody in Northern Neck, in Tappahannock, yes, indeed, in Essex, the $1 bill is no more. It has magically, mystically, majestically turned into a $100 bill. Oh, that would be a good trick to learn this summer. Make a one into a hundred. If you learn that, there's not many other magic tricks you need to learn. <laughs> Let me show you something else. This I learned from a library book. You see the rope? Some people call it a solar-powered clothes dryer. Some of this you may get later. Let's get back to the presentation. I, Jonathan Austin, of sound body and mind, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I will put the ends together. Pay close attention as I go to the middle. I will now pick up razor sharp scissors and cut the rope in half. Now I have two pieces that are the same length. Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> Stay in school. Maybe if I make them the same length before you. Oh my goodness. Now they are equal in proportion. In case you missed that, allow me to take the two ropes have them join forces and come together as one. Too much fanfare. Let me keep going. I'll go to the middle this time. Magic we shall do. I cut once. I cut twice. Even three times. Same low cost. Wimbo, wambo, jimbo, jambo. Do the wang, dang, doodle. Hakuna matata. Would you believe this? Voila. That's French for voila. That is the cut and restored rope. I hope you liked it. If you liked, I would love for you to learn that yourself. Let me show you something else. This one, another trick I learned from a library book. It's called The Professor's Nightmare. It's also called My Favorite Rope Trick. With that, let me show you what I have. These ropes do not stretch, do not shrink. I do not lie to you. I hope to entertain you in the fashion in which you are no longer accustomed. You see the rope? That's very long. Contrasting with the rope, that is very small. Further contrasting with the rope, that is very medium. <laughs> I went to one of the gooder schools. More better than the rest. I'm going to snap. Crackle, pop. I do whatever the Rice Krispies tell me to do. Does it look like they're now the same size? No. Watch. Three different sizes. I take long, medium, small, before your eyes, ears, noses and all of your other vital organs. Not one, not two, but to everyone's shock and disbelief. All three are the same size. Yes, indeed, well, that's what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, I'll put one medium aside leaves me with two 
Mediums? <laughs> That's a mouthful. You see the two? Let's see if it happens again. Oh my. Yes, indeed. One long rope. Did you see that? I had two ropes, same size, one long rope. Ha ha. Let's keep rocking like so. Once again, it goes back to two ropes, same length. Three, two, one. <laughs> As they say at the end of every fairy tale, if elected, I promise I will stop me if you've heard this. No, they say they lived happily ever after. They always listened to their parents and teachers and never fought with their siblings. As you can see, a medium, a medium, a medium. These are slip knots. <laughs> Some of the jokes are for me. Brings my mystery to a dramatic finish. Oh my. There's the small, the medium, the long, drop the mic, the crowd goes wild. Oh my. You got the right one. Now check this out, Essex Public Library. You've seen some magic. But what I have planned for all those wonderful readers, I was going to do some juggling. So allow me to do some juggling. Perhaps bring out objects you don't typically see somebody juggle. That sounds good. Only appropriate for the boys of summer, our national pastime. In Tappahannock, Virginia, we swing for the fences. We do our best. Yes, indeed, the theme this summer is Imagine Your Station. I always fancied myself as a baseball player. <laughs> Disqualified for steroid use. <laughs> I have a baseball bat. Let's see what else I can conjure up. Oh, my goodness. Something that makes me the talk of the town has helped me out greatly with social distancing. Elephant's toothbrush. Genetically altered to get those hard to reach spots and to freshen up on a summer day. <laughs> I have these two objects to juggle. Bet you've never seen that before. But because all of you are gonna do your best this summer and read all you can, I have another object for you. Let's put aside our petty differences and unite together as one under rubber chicken. Watch as the plot chickens. You're about to see poultry in motion. If you want to laugh, you have to lower your standards. Let me get this to the side. Friends, I will start in big fashion. Go big or go home. Watch this. Let's see the seals at the zoo do this. Oh my goodness. Somebody throw me a fish. Timber. That's right. Jonathan the juggler living up to his billing. And they're off. Slide. Ole. Yes. Safe. By a wide margin. Now I tell you what, let me do some more juggling for you. Let's see what I have next. <laughs> Hooray for the red, white, and blue. Allow me to take off my hat. Let me fix my hair so I look good. <laughs> now to juggle with flip. Sit back, relax and enjoy the three club juggling show. You're about to see hours and hours of hard work right here. Big beginning, charge, 
Oh my. As you can see, they're off like so. Juggling with flip. Allow me to go twice as fast. How about three times as fast? Oh my. Picking up the pace ever so slightly. There's more. Ha. Flat as a pizza. Flat as a flounder. Flat as a library book. Here's one I know you like. A smart, good looking, sophisticated crowd as yourselves shall sincerely appreciate this right here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no more questions. What else does he have? Perhaps I take two to juggle with one hand. I go further and juggle two in the opposing hand. <laughs> Just as exciting. Time to get fancy. When I say fancy, I mean fancy, dancy. That's right, class. No cheap stuff. Ooh la la, la la ooh. Wait for it, charge. Oh my, look at that. My mommy is so proud of me. She told me to hit the books. I think that was good advice. What if I try behind the back? Ha, oh, I did it. I impressed myself. This time behind my other back. Amazing, yet confusing. Behind the other back, go for it. Wowie, I did it. Kawabunga. This time, behind both backs. Charge. Ha! Yes, indeed. I present, for dramatic effect, the warm-ups. Ha! This time, for real. Get it! Ha! Looking good. Permission to land. Right here for the Essex Public Library. Check it out, Tappahannock. I have some more for you. Maybe if I bring out this, it is time to unleash the beast. I come in peace. Look at that, booja booja. Looks like his mommy. Would you believe this? The evil nemesis of the baseball bat. Has the man gone too far this time? Prepare to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm being cereal. Not necessarily. <laughs> oh, come on. You have no sense of hummus. They say laughter is the best medicine. After penicillin, what else does he have? Oh my. Check it out. For all the soccer moms, minivans, and stick figured families. A soccer ball that looks like it was taken away from its mommy too soon. <laughs> I have one more. Read the gym locker. Oh my goodness. Don't forget, along with reading, make sure you exercise this summer. I have an official registered trademark NCAA pumpkin. <laughs> uh, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Small, medium, large. Charge across the desert to the promised land, down 360 to Tappahannock. They're off, ha. Oh, <laughs> that felt good. Ah, I'll never learn. Bam, oh, I got it. Ah, oh, oh, I got it, all right. There you have it. Three different sizes.
contrasting in size, age, and weight. Let's see what else I have. Friends, I learned to juggle three tennis balls when I was 12 years old. Look at me now, 10 years later. <laughs> Give or take a 20-some year. In any case, let me show you what I learned right here. Yes, indeed, you follow? Boing, <laughs> boing, boing. To amaze you all, I will now juggle higher. Huh, ta-da! <laughs> oh my goodness, ripped off again. Let's see what else he has, the hand. Did you see? The elbow and the bus, the muscle. Woo! After the show, I'll get your pickle jars open and other incredible feats of strength. Oh my, uh, uh, follow your nose. And a classic, two with one hand. The other looks even better when I take time from my busy schedule and I go like this. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what if I try three with one hand? My fastest yet. You'll be the judge. Hold on to your pants. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Flight attendants, prepare for departure. Ah, ah, whoa. And there you have it. With the speed of a tortoise. Faster than a snail dipped in syrup. Let me up the ante a little bit. Yes, indeed. What if I bring out four at once? It's going to be fast. Consider yourself for one. With the speed of a postal employee. I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Everybody at home. Clap quickly. This will not last long. Homer, I hope you like that, Essex. That was four. What if I try five? Brace yourselves. Oh, my goodness. Right here, right now. Showtime, no time. We give the people what they want. Five at once. Hold on to your toes, your nose, and your pantyhose. Let's go for it, ladies and germs, boys and goats, children of all shoe sizes, five at once. Charge! Oh, my goodness. One problem. How do you stop this crazy thing? Oh, my. I must learn how to stop. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed that. And now, you'll be the judge. Man, a machine. I'm gonna bring out six. Oh my. Lean, mean, fighting machine. Blue, bean, bag. Pound for pound, round for round, the fastest in town. This goes out to everybody in Tappahannock. Three tries. This is the human limit. Six, take one. Ah! Mission accomplished. Friends, we are victorious. Now, I'll tell you what, before I pack it up and do some reading of my own. Let me bring out this. A coloring book. Oh my, oh my. Yes indeed, friends. Our theme this summer, and I trust everybody has signed up for summer reading. The theme is imagine your station. Yes indeed, imagine what you want to be and go for it. Do you imagine yourself a magician, a baseball player, maybe a math professor? There's so much you can do. 
but you must pursue your dreams and work hard. With that, let's use our imaginations. Let's go to a different world. I have a coloring book, not something you typically see at the Essex Public Library, but I think you'll like it. Gays, be amazed, guaranteed to amuse and confuse. Oh my, as you can see, no colors in the coloring book. That's just not acceptable for the Essex Public Library. So let's use our imagination. Take some colors off your shirts, off your pants, off your dresses, off your clothing attire and apparel, maybe your bathing suits this summer. So many great places to swim around Tappahannock. Hold your hand up. When I count to three, I want you to throw the colors in. One, get ready. Two, it's all about you. Three, and pew, bam, shazam, alakazam. Green eggs taste better, fried with ham. Thank you, Dr. Seuss. This goes out to Abby Kadabi on Sesame Street. Open sesame, sesame open. Oh, oh my. Imagine your station. You see the colors. They have been tossed into the coloring book and all with inside the lines for any OCD types. But in Tappahannock and in the Northern Neck, we go above and beyond the call of duty. Take the colors back. One and all, everybody take the colors back. Give it the old college try. Did you take the colors back? Is that a yes? Oh, just like the beginning, good as new. No! Oh! To my shock. Surprise and amazement. You did the magic yourself. You took the colors back. Oh my, oh my. Look at that, friends. The coloring book. Before I go any further, I'd like to show you how to do one magic trick. A really cool magic trick. I demonstrate, then I teach. So first, I play the role of a magician. I bring out a pink rubber band. Think pink, hot pink, tickle pink, pretty in pink, mm, a lot of Mary Kay. Watch the rubber band on these two fingers. Here comes the magic. I close my hand. Before you, I open my hand. Ha! Oh my goodness, a dinosaur of a different age. It jumps to the other two fingers. Hmm, can it get better? I say yes. You see it's on three fingers, nothing to hide. Nothing up my sleeves, except for me <laughs> and a dryer sheet. <clears throat> Three fingers, pinky the smallest. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Oh my goodness, it jumps to the pinky. One more, I'm gonna bring out a second rubber band, a blue rubber band. Twist it at the top so there's no way the pink one can come off because the blue rubber band is there to stop it. Watch this, friends. The 30-second wonder of the world. Go for it. Bam. 
Oh my. Yes, indeed, it jumps over. Let me show you how to do that. If you like what you see, get a book from the Essex Public Library and learn how to do some magic. Anything you want to do well takes, I heard you, practice. Watch. On these two fingers, here's what I did. Everybody make the peace sign. Take a rubber band, place it over those two fingers. This is what the audience saw, but this is what I saw. You see it's on those two fingers? With the other hand, I pull it down and back. I place all four fingers in, pinky, ring, middle, index. I pretend like all four fingers are glued together. Need I tell you, at the risk of insulting your intelligence, do not glue your fingers together. I open up all four fingers at the same time, and it jumps over. Please do not ask me for the scientific explanation, as I do not know the scientific explanation. Watch, two fingers, pull it down and back, all four, right in there, open up all four at the same time. Try not to have people in back of you, try to have everyone in front of you if you can. For the audience, it looks like this. Notice I don't go too fast, but when it's time to open my fingers, bam, I let it be known. Watch, down and back, all four in. Are you there? Oh my. And when you do it with three fingers, it's the exact same trick. That's what's fantastic. Look, all four in there, bam. Three fingers, you pull it down and back, put all four in. In between the two sets of knuckles, look at that. And the last part, when I get back to the Essex Public Library and when I make a gallant return to Tappahannock, I want to see all of you doing this. You see it's on two fingers, so I twist it around. This is just a know-how towards me, away from me, towards me. Back and forth like that, you see? If you look at it, it looks like there's no way the rubber band at the base of your fingers can move. But it actually flips over like that. Let me put it back. It's the exact same trick as the first one. You see? Look at that. Oh my goodness. You'll be the envy of all. The hit at the next party. So there you have it. Something else I want to show you real quick. If ever you get a peacock feather, perhaps you can learn to bounce it on your finger. A little bit of practice. You place it up there. You stare towards the middle. Move when needed. Helps with your eye-hand coordination. Will bring you much joy. I'll place it on the back of my finger. Or shall I say my hand? Yes, indeed. I guess you could put it on the back of your finger, but it's on the back of my hand. And the best one. Look at this. On my chin. Oh my. And there you have it. This goes out to all the bird watchers in Tappahannock and Northern Neck. Today, you've seen magic. Juggling. You even learn how to do a really cool magic trick. I have two more tricks for you today. Let me bring it out. Oh my goodness. Tight quarters in an area the size of a postage stamp. I bring out a unicycle. Everybody say unicycle. That's right. A tricycle has three wheels. A bicycle has two. A unicycle, one wheel. I will ride the unicycle out 
Oni riding the unicycle. I bring out this. Something to juggle. You guessed it, tennis rackets. Moms, you're about to see for the first time ever a man multi-task. <laughs> Wanted to give you a fair warning. I know these past few months have been a little tricky for us all. But let me show you. I hop up on the unicycle like this. Charge, part one. In the beginning, ha <laughs> Up close for your viewing pleasure. Oh my, back and forth. Part two, the saga continues. Oh my goodness, he's riding the unicycle now. Part three, the epic into the trilogy. Wait for it. Charge, juggling, while perched on one wheel. Oh my, ha! Yes, indeed, friends, let me come back. Oh, you got it now. Thank you so much. One last trick for today. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed the presentation. Thank you to Beth and everybody at the Essex Public Library, the friends of the Essex Public Library. Look at what I have. To conclude my portion of the summer activities, a pan empty as my wallet. Watch the pan. Oh my goodness. Friends, the big moment. As you know, with the fine art of magic and juggling, one must have a finale. I'm ready now. Sim sala bim, sis boom ba. Yippee skippy, phony baloney, and don't forget. Read, read, read. I have two more R's for you. Rabbit, rabbit. Everybody say it. Some people think it brings you good luck. Rabbit, rabbit, and look right there. Oh my goodness. Did they get it right? This is my cohort, my trusted sidekick. Yes, indeed, this is Reader the Rabbit. Everybody, say hi, Reader the Rabbit. What's his favorite food? Carrots. What's his favorite restaurant? Mm. I hop. <laughs> I hop. <laughs> Don't give up on me. Friends. From the bottom of my heart, I say thank you to everybody at the Essex Public Library. I've had so much fun with you today. I'll be back. You know what I'm going to do now? I am going to go find some good books to read. When I read, I like to have Reader the Rabbit with me. Perhaps you have a pet that you like to spend quality time with. With that, no goodbyes here. I say read, 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 and I will see you later. Jonathan Austin, signing off. Poof!